are back with another video on easy math okay on previous video on straight lines in previous chapter we discussed about angle between two straight lines okay today let's discuss about intercepts and some types of equations of a straight line okay first intercept of a line on the axis what does it mean okay intercept intercept on the axis it means that the points at which this straight line touches to the axis which are nothing but x axis and y axis those are called as intercepts of a straight line on axis okay intercepts are only positive there are two directions how to represent them further further we should represent the sign of the intercept okay how are sign of the intercept determined they are determined based on the direction of the coordinate axis okay if you see this picture you will understand okay here this line touches y axis at b so ob is the y intercept and it touches x axis at oa so it is the x intercept here if oa is on ox dash side it will be negative here it is in y axis side so it is positive same goes with y intercept Okay, now lines parallel to the coordinate axis. What will be the equations of lines if they are parallel to the coordinate axis? Okay, if we see this picture, here there is a straight line. It is at a distance b from the x-axis. Okay, now what will be the equation of this? It is at a distance b from the x-axis. means what is the value of y coordinate it is b what is the value of x coordinates it will be varying from 0 to infinity at any place y will be b so the equation will be y is equal to b similarly if you take line parallel to y axis the equation will be x is equal to b you can guess that easily okay and another thing is x axis is also a line parallel to the x axis by distance 0 so the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 okay if it is below the x axis then it will be minus b different forms of equation of a straight line okay we know basic equation of straight line ax plus by is equal to 1 okay there will be different forms means for example someone will ask you there is a straight line of slope m and y making an intercept c on y axis okay how you will find the equation we need some form we need some formula to find right okay now let's see those first the slope intercept form of a line what is the slope intercept form as the name tells here we need one slope and one intercept okay let the slope be m and intercept be c then we should prove that the equation is y is equal to mx plus c okay how can we prove this is there any concept to prove this okay let's see a diagram c we can observe from this diagram we we should construct this the same diagram and now we can prove easily right you know how can we prove that let us imagine this is the line and if we if we take a line parallel to x axis at a height where the line intercepts with y because they gave intercept intercept on y axis right so we need that now here the intercept on y is c then what will be the distance between p and m if we take this diagram it will be y minus c how because the total length is y and the intercept length is c so it will be y minus c and what will be the distance between q and m it will be x which let us imagine it is x now here the angle makes theta with the x axis the line makes an angle theta with the x axis then in triangle pqm what will be the angle it will be theta same right okay now what we want to find a slope we need tan theta here if we take this triangle what is the value of tan theta we 
can tell that easily. It is opposite side by adjacent side. Means y minus c by x. So tan theta is equal to y minus c by x or pm by qm. And tan theta means nothing but m. So m is equal to y minus c by x. If you send x to the other, x and c to the other side, it becomes y is equal to mx plus c. This is the required equation of a line. In the okay, now let's see how to convert generally general equation of a straight line to this form. Imagine the general equation of a straight line as ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. Let's keep capital letters because it, we can differ from others. Then that implies here slope intercept form will get y is equal to mx plus c, right? So we need y term on one side. So we'll say we'll keep y term on this side and remaining to the other side. Then it becomes by is equal to minus ax minus cy. If we send b to the other side and divide, why? Because we need y on the LHS or RHS, any one side. If we send b to the other side, it becomes y is equal to minus a by bx plus minus c by b. Okay, now we can solve this easily. Minus a by b is m and minus c by b is c. Where m is equal to minus a by b and c is equal to minus c by b. Thus, for straight line, ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. What will be the slope? Minus a by b means coefficient of x by coefficient of y minus. And intercept on y axis is minus coefficient minus constant term by coefficient of y. Now, let's see point slope form means a point and a slope given. Okay. Now, the, this theorem tells that the equation of a line which passes through a point x1, y1 and has slope m is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Okay, now we need to prove this, right? Without proof, we can't remember that easily. Let's see how to prove this. Let us imagine x1, y1 be a point q and let us imagine p x, y is a point on the line. As we will do in a chapter called as locus. Okay, now how to find the equation? How to derive the equation? By this. Okay, slope. The slope on a line, the slope of points on a line will be same from any point on the line, right? P x comma y is a point on line. And Q x1 comma y1 is also a point. And slope is m. So what we can get? m is equal to? y2 minus y1 means y minus y1 by x minus x1. And if we send x minus x1 to the other side, it becomes y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So this is the required equation of a line in the form of point and a slope given. Let us imagine two point form of a line means two points are given. We should find the equation of the line. The equation of line passing through two points x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 is here y minus y1 into is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Okay now how to prove this? As before m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Okay now if we substitute that in the form we get before means slope point form. If we substitute the value of m in that, we will get the required equation. This is how to prove this. Easy proof. Hey guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, it not face you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video. Okay, in next video on straight lines, we will discuss about point intercept form. Okay, we will discuss about that in the next video.